ADD estimated to cause accumulative loss of output of over $47 trillion between 2011 and 2030, which makes the World Health Organization relentless in creating a global awareness and also driven the need for country-specific action to reverse the trends that notify Ghana as a collaborator and the implementer of improving the provision of LCD service at the primary healthcare level. Speaking at the event was the Minister of Health, Honorable Kukwa Jumamanu, stated that Ghana is currently experiencing a complex version of diseases brought about by the existing of communicable diseases known to be maternal child and nutritional conditions as well as non-communicable that is known to be influenced by the risk factors such as physical environment economic situation, population lifestyle, and the capacity of healthcare care systems in Ghana. Actions to reverse the trend. One of such initiatives by WHO is the NORAD Foundation Project, which is a flagship initiative of the Prime Minister and the good people of Norway who are providing a four-year funding stream from 2020 to 2024. Ghana is identified as a collaborator and an implementer to improve the provision of NCD services at the primary healthcare level. It to extend the heartfelt appreciation from the government and the people of Ghana to the Prime Minister and the government of Norway for this gesture and well thought through intervention. It is also significant to note that Ghana is currently experiencing a complex burden of diseases brought about by the existence of communicable diseases, maternal, child and nutritional conditions, as well as non-communicable diseases, and injuries. In many cases, there are comorbid conditions resulting from the interplay of these disease conditions. This complex disease burden According to Honorable Kwakwa Jomamanu, in his presentation said that the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Dankwa Kufuado, personally launched the reverse national health policy as a direct policy response and to show political commitment the need to work within the old government and society framework using the earth and to tackle the broad determinant and the earth that is affecting Ghana population. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanadu Dankwa Kufuwa, personally launched the revised national health policy as a direct policy response and to show political commitment to the need to work within the whole of government and whole of society framework using the health in all and one health approaches to tackle the broad determinants of health that are affecting our population. Government is also committed to providing health infrastructure and modern equipment at all levels of the health system for the benefits of the ordinary Ghanaian. Various cadres of human resources needed to deliver care are also being recruited and deployed across the country. Our hospital operations, including supply chain processes, are also being digitalized for efficiency of work, while other high impact innovative technologies, such as unmanned area logistics vehicles, the drones, have been deployed to operate in the hard to reach areas of our country. These policy interventions have collectively improved patient experience and convenience. Professor Chair, the revised NCD policy with its accompanying strategic plan is aligned to these overarching health policy frameworks and it is designed to focus national attention to the fight against NCDs by leveraging the collaborative strengths of key stakeholders at all levels and along the NDC value chain for maximum effect. We can be efficient at tackling the NCDs if we commit to the following objectives. Reduce exposure to risk factors that contribute to NCDs. Strengthen early detection and management to reduce mobility and mortality from NCDs. Strengthen the health systems for NCD prevention and control. Strengthen multisectoral collaboration for NCD prevention and control. Ensure sustainable funding and other resources for NCD prevention and control. The strategic implementation of these objectives 
over five years, 2022-2026, will cost the nation the city equivalent of 110 million US dollars. As a people, we need to collaborate on all fronts, seek support from well-meaning stakeholders, and adopt healthy lifestyles, lifestyle changes, which are so critical to the success of the fight against NCDs. For starters, we have, as a response to our policy, have established a multidisciplinary steering committee of our NCD policy. The time has come for sustainable innovative ways of delivering NCD interventions to our people. Permit me, therefore, Professor Chair, to appeal to all and sundry for comprehensive support to the national NCD program. No contribution is too large or too small. Remember, it could be it could be you or someone dear to you whose life is saved. We are in this together. We can achieve more collective. We can achieve more collectively than we can as individuals. We can achieve more collectively than we can as individuals. And at this point, I would like to thank sincerely our development partners and industry players as we urge others to come on board to support a good cause. I want to add that tomorrow, His Excellency the President will host the Prime Minister of Norway and the Director General of WHO to an international strategic dialogue on NCDs. It is time leadership is pivoted for the NCD agenda to ensure no one prevents the National Non-Communicable Disease Policy for Ghana, the strategy document, and the WHO NORAD Kente project in Ghana, duly launched.